Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion, and let's play some more Stellaris. So, things are going pretty well at the moment. In fact, they're almost going too well. And I've decided we're going to have to shake things up a bit, which means it's time to in integrate the Glyran Empire. We've been putting this off for too long, and it's going to take us a very long time to do it, so we might as well start it now. It's going to be free influence per month. And uh, luckily, we are coming in at, at 4.85 per month right now. So, that's actually pretty good for us and we can probably improve that a bit later on as well um, with some more upgrades to various buildings on our, on our planets and, and like um, I think there's still one more level of upgrade for the uh, capital buildings on our planets we can get at some point hopefully, we'll have to see so yeah, we're going to start the integration process with the Glyran Empire uh, free influence per month is 790 so it's going to be about 20 years before this is done but we might as well do this now, rather than constantly putting it off. And that would be quite a massive boost to our empire. We're going to gain a lot from that. Uh, now, we're still gaining 1.85 influence per month. So, we've got 300 in the bank. I'm actually going to spend some of this on a new frontier outpost down here. Um, and we're going to try and claim some of these systems here to exploit their resources. I've decided I'm probably going to go for Burr. And try and claim that area of space, because we probably will be colonizing these two worlds at some point um, which will push Avancia, which is a slightly better system into our realm of influence sooner so we're going to take this one first what have we got going on? the Emperor of Merak has joined the Golden Atente okay uh, first fleet has fully repaired itself, that's fine uh, now we do need to actually look a little bit later on at some terraforming because we have the research for that complete. And lots of people have finished building stuff, so we have new buildings on our spaceports, new modules. We have Engineering Bay on the spaceport at Earth, giving us repair speed costs, reductions, and ship upkeep modifiers. And then we've got Crew Quarters on the other two, so ship upkeep cost is minus 20% for ships in orbit. I've just realised that says Orbit Modifier. Damn it. Well, that's still pretty handy. Um, you guys go Orbit there. Research it's still handy. And we have completed the research of databank uplinks. This allows us the assist research feature. High capacity quantum bands dedicated to databank transfers make possible virtually complete synchronous research operations across vast distances. Basically, the bonus from that is our science ships can now assist colonies in research to grant them, per scientist level of the science captain of the ship, 5% across the board. Which is going to be pretty useful later on when we run out of stuff for our science ships to do. Uh, so we want to do some new research now. Uh, ooh, we could upgrade our point defense to level 2, barrier point defense. Updated prediction algorithms improves tracking and point defense accuracy. That's pretty good actually. And it's also kind of cheap. I wouldn't mind getting rid of some of these other ones though, but they're always going to be here, we can do those next. Yeah, let's get barrier point defense. We've got quite a lot of point defense in our fleet at the moment of our point defense class destroyers and also our cruisers are going to have some point defense on them as well although we haven't actually built any yet I guess I could start building some our income is can probably support a few although they are quite expensive uh, maintenance 3.41 but maybe as long as we keep them in orbit of Sirius or uh, Albion or Akasuxi where we'll have the modifier that'll be okay so I'm actually going to queue up three three of these ships. We'll have some more energy coming in from down here soon, and I can always bump up what we're getting from our sectors. And the first fleet's still poodling around, which is why we're only gaining plus 10 energy right now. So that should be fine. A couple of cruisers will nicely round out our fleet, I think. Now, let's have a look at our borders. Has anything expanded recently that's going to allow us to build more energy stations? Well, I can see, we do have Hecken. Nine minerals there, that's actually quite a lot. But that would be four separate stations, so that's four energy credits down the drain. And we don't actually need that right now. I also wouldn't mind if we could get control of Sol, there's five energy there, plus some terraforming gases, and we're going to need those. I do believe we have some terraforming gases already. Yeah, we've got two terraforming gases and two terraforming liquids, which is pretty handy. Just need our borders to expand that a little bit more, and we can start getting more energy. Eventually we will integrate the unified Kundan systems, but that's going to have to wait until after we've integrated the Glyran Empire. It's going to be a long time. 
But there are vassals, they're just going to wait for us. They'll be fine. That system would also be quite useful. Desert world, we can't colonise there. And an ocean world. Okay, so we can't colonise those two worlds yet. But they're on my list. All of our ships down here have plenty of orders to survey stuff. And after that, I guess we're going to probably just start assisting research. Because we've system survey explored complete. most of the galaxy now. Okay, that's a nice little system. And there's actually, oh, there's some debris there, I forgot about that. From the space amoebas, that would actually be kind of useful. Hmm. You've got the least orders. Actually, go back there and do that for me quickly. And then you can come up here and do all this. Okay. Your orders aren't quite working out the way I want them to. Right, just come here and research that. Oh, and the Glyrian Empire is coming here to survey stuff as well. I'm surprised Incoming we don't give our vassals the information on that kind of stuff, but I suppose not. A trade deal offer from the Mirren Collective. They would like our star charts. I think we've already given you our star charts, didn't we? Mirren Collective are somewhere to the north. Yeah, over here. Yeah, they're nice and far away, sure. I don't think we're going to get much out of that deal, because we seem to have information on pretty much everything these days. Which is why, kind of why we're not going to need our science ships anymore. System survey complete. Apart from anomaly the odd, found. odd anomaly. So, Lithius Zar. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this moon. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Hmm. You're only level 3, so we've got 15% failure risk, but... Yeah, screw it. Go nuts. Or is that down here? Okay. It does have an Arctic world we could colonize, so if it's something interesting, we'll have to remember that. You're working on the debris, and we found an ancient survey marker. A small, short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Lifuria's Tsar. It appears to be an ancient survey marker, placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious minerals, uh, precious metals rather. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. Fascinating. That now becomes a plus four mineral body. That's pretty good. Although we are getting 208 minerals per month, so I'm not too worried. Uh, you just got plenty of orders. Good. And they actually leveled you up to level four from the experience you got from doing that. So the risk was worth it, I think. Evading hostile fleet. Oh, we've got another hostile fleet. Another space amoeba? Really? Interesting. Oh, has my first cruiser been built? Ha! My first cruiser has been built. That's kind of awesome. 295 military power in one ship. Jesus, that's more than our fleet was for the first 10 years. Uh, that space amoeba we're going to need to deal with. Unless the Glyrans still have a fleet around here. Though it doesn't appear they do. Okay. We'll send the first fleet in. They can start doing shit. Uh, our construction ship has... Not doing anything. Oh, no, there we go. I was going to say, I'm sure that should have given us a bunch of stuff there. Okay, so Burr is now in our space, as is Astarte and Avin, which hasn't actually been surveyed yet, so there could be something cool there. But we're already gaining plus two energy credits, because the energy was on the sun, and the frontier outpost can double as a mining base under those circumstances. But we'll grab the other energy. There we go. And then we'll get a research station there. Actually, no, we'll, ooh, we want the minerals. Yeah, hang on, wait, wait, wait. Change your orders. Alright, give me a mining station. And then I guess we have to build... I would have thought we needed a mining station for that, but apparently a research station will get us the Pifarian dust. Oh yeah, it does say research station. Maybe I've been doing it wrong this whole game. And that system is actually very close to our borders. A little bit of expansion here. Analyzed. That could be ours as well. Okay, the space amoebas gave us amoeba breeding program plus 10%. That's not bad. Okay, you fled and don't have orders. Uh, come survey that system for me. I'm 
Okay, the Drill Perfin Forerunners, Stagnant Ascendancy, milit Militant Isolationists. Communication from Drill Perfin Forerunners. Filthy beasts, you have encroached upon our space for the last time. Withdraw immediately, or we will cleanse the stain upon the universe that is your worthless species. Okay, we just pissed off a fallen empire somehow. Where the hell are you guys that I pissed you off? I can't even see you on the map. What the hell? The United Nations will not be bullied. Adds the ugh, yeah, that would make them really hate us. I don't really want to go to war with a fallen empire. Oh, oh crap! No, 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 no! Wait, what the hell? Okay, so if we say we have no choice but to accept, they will destroy the colonies of Albion, New Coventry, Tokugawa, and Eden. We will be humiliated for 121 months with a happiness modifier of minus 10% and an influence modifier of minus 33%. Oh, wow. Why are they plotting to destroy or trying to destroy the center? I mean, Albion is one of my core worlds. That's in Sirius. That's one of the first places we colonized. That's there. New Coventry, Tokugawa, and Eden. Wow. So it's this fallen empire down here. They've finally woken up and realised we're in their, on their borders, and yeah, we're not accepting that. So what does that do? What's the modifier give to us? Uh, how are those doing? Those wow, they're up to fifty percent. Um, we've still got quite a lot of influence banked. I could actually afford to do an integration campaign too and suppress media. Hmm. Or I could just do a lot of suppressed media and just get the negative 10% support. I don't understand what integration campaign 2 does for me. Well, we'll try it. It's an option. It must do something. That might have been a mistake. We'll see. Oh, crap. Okay. The Drill Prefend Forerunners have declared war on us. So, because we refuse to abandon our colony worlds, which, and I have no idea why they're claiming these particular ones, um, they have declared war on us, and things are about to go bad. Very, very very quickly. Okay, so we're at war with a fallen empire. I don't think we're really ready for this. We have not yet set our demands. Okay. What what are our demands? I mean, I just want them to stop. I don't really want to claim any of their stuff. Although if we could, it would be handy. I mean, they must have some pretty awesome stuff in there. Seed planet. Liberate planet. Hmm. I mean, we do have allies. We do have our vassals, but I'm not looking forward to this at all. This shit suddenly got real, guys. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just, like, give me everything in Beacon of Stability. I don't know what else I want. I'm, I'm not even sure I can win this war. Well, no, let's be realistic here. Either this is going to crush us or we're going to win. There's only two outcomes from this war. Because we cannot surrender and let them take away these two colony worlds, that colony world, and that colony world. That would just gut the core of our empire. So we've got a plan on victory here. So, in fact... We're going to change this around. We're going to say we will liberate the Beacon of Stability to make sure the Confederacy of Takanyar get something out of this. And otherwise, they're going to give us... Because we're going to win this, guys. You guys are going to give me all of your shit in the central system.
negative 66 will not accept relative navy strength and length of war okay but our allies are in this I god knows how strong these people are compared to us their okay relative power their fleet power is overwhelming their naval capacity is overwhelming and their technology level is overwhelming god damn okay this could be the end of it but we're gonna do what we can um, we need to get our fleets back. You're all the way down there engaging a space amoeba. Are you actually in, in combat with it yet? No. Good. Because I need you back home. This is a terrible time for you guys to be down there. Uh, if you can, I want you to get up to here. This is a good, strong defensive area. Right, we need to go to the ship designer. And we need to look at defense stations. Also complete the design. So you're heavily armoured. And you've got shields. I'd actually prefer a few more shields over armour there. Okay, 500 shields, 4,000 hull points, 37 armour. That's good. You've got a little bit of extra power. You've got nothing but light station sections. Let's see if we can't change that up a bit. Uh, hangar station section could be useful. We only have scout wings, but they'll do for now. And let's get a few medium weapons on there as well. Make sure all of those are our best weapons. Auto-complete the rest of that. Okay, save that design. Right, where are my construction ships that aren't doing anything? Because I need them to come over to the border here, and we're going to fortify as much as we can with these defense platforms. We're just going to try and stronghold this system and hope their fleet comes into it, if they give us time. If they attack right now, we're probably going to lose... I can't defend everywhere, so I'm going to have to ignore the system over here for the time being. Okay, I'm going to slow down the speed a bit. Hopefully the Glyran Empire will send some ships. Yeah, they've already got 2,000 fleet there. They're already, ooh, they're already daring to go in. Okay, guys, go for it. Uh, the first fleet is falling back. I've got some cruisers out here. Oh, no. The fourth Void Skulkers. 20,000 military power. Holy crap. What are we actually looking at here? Oh my god, 20,000 military power. We have 5,000 in our fleet. This is a fleet of nothing but battle cruisers. Our scanners can make no sense of the strange vessel. Okay. I mean, we're going to make a fight of it. We can't just surrender our worlds to them. We do have some defensive stations, um, but our platforms aren't going to be ready anytime soon. This is... This is going to hurt a lot, even with the first fleet here. Um, I mean, if there's the only hope would be... Oh no, they've got another fleet there, another 18,000. And they've got a transport fleet there. Oh my god, their military power is insane. We, we can't win this, this is going to be an absolute slaughter. Uh, is there any chance my allies are sending their ships our way? I could really use... I mean, we if we all combine, we might be able to take one of their fleets. I guess we've just got to try and buy time for our allies to arrive. They should be automatically sending their ships to meet us and kind of joining up with us. But, oh, this is going to hurt so bad. And also I need to get my construction ships out of here because, uh, yeah, anyone who's moving to Dastamon needs to not move to Dastamon right now. In fact, fortify Sol, because if they're trying to come here, that would be bad for us. So build me some military stations around Earth instead. That's what we're going to do. And... Okay, the Glyrans are sending a few ships our way, but... They just have... I'm guessing at least 11 fleets. 
in the tens of thousands. But this is one of our strongest defensive positions. I mean, we've got so many stations together, including two spaceports right on top of each other. I don't know what else we can do apart from try and fight here. We're never going to get a better chance. We just have to hope that maybe some of our allies can arrive and tip, it, tip this fight in our favour. Evading hostile fleet. Yep. This is going to be nasty. Our spaceports under aren't going to last very long at all. Although they've sent their transports Station in first. I mean, if we could take out if some of their transports, that might be something. They've already got a fleet in Sirius. Another 14 battle cruisers. They're just going to walk through all of our defences. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can take out a few of their transports. Station under attack. Holy Evading crap, those weapons fleet. are long range. Fleet engaged. Those are some pretty sweet looking ships, I'll be honest. Okay, our stations are attacking these transports. Construction ship under attack. Construction ship under attack. Station. Under That's attack. it. We're gonna wipe out a bunch of their transports. Screw them. They can't take our worlds if they can't haven't got any troops to land on. Station under attack. Got a couple of cruisers we can bring in. My help. Okay, that's one transport fleet destroyed. We're going to engage the second one now. In fact, we already are. But our station is melting under their attack. We've got any sign of our allies coming in to join us. Doesn't look like it. What's happening up in Sirius? Yeah, they're just going to walk through our defences here. Although they might lose a couple of these transport ships to our station, because they're being a bit dumb about it, but they've got another 18,000 military power fleet over there. And an individual battlecruiser is worth 1.3 thousand military power. So our entire fleet could maybe handle five of them. And we're facing off against 20. But we're taking out some of their transports. That's got to count for something. But, okay, no, now we're being engaged by the battle cruisers. I'm just going to kill these transports. There we go. Shards are firing. They are wiped out. I think this is just going to be it. They've already got down the spaceport. God almighty. The firepower on these ships. Construction ship under attack. This, our entire fleet is just going to melt in the face of this. Station under attack. We are doing some damage to one of their battle cruisers, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. I mean, we might take out one or two before they wipe out the entire fleet. All we could hope is that some allies arrive, but I don't think it's going to happen. Enemy troops are invading somewhere. Holy crap, there's a lot of stuff happening here. First fleet is dying. What happened to the cruisers? I tried to send my cruisers from Sol. Did they already get destroyed? Oh god, did they wipe out my cruisers in Sol? Yep, they've already got another fleet in Sol. I didn't even realise, and they've wiped out everything we had here. Oh my god. Tokugawa Spaceport managed to take out three transports. Earth Spaceport didn't destroy anything. Two battle cruisers, 48 escorts. Oh, I haven't seen their escorts before. Or maybe I've just not been paying attention. It just seemed like they had nothing but battle cruisers. 
Have, I don't suppose my allies have turned up with any massive fleets yet, have they? Because that would be really handy. You know, like that star fleet and those star fleets and anything. Does anything come up? I wouldn't even know. They'd turn up and be obliterated. Oh, you've got a fleet coming in. Oh, actually, they're going to be joining this fight. I don't think another 2,000 military power is going to swing this around. Because a lot of our ships are badly damaged. Everything's, everyone's lost shields already. We've taken out one battlecruiser, but we're losing a lot. And they're outranged, even our spaceports. And the spaceport's actually done. They've taken Tokugawa. Station under attack. Yeah, the fleet's dying. Um, the Glearin's going to arrive just in time to be destroyed. Station they pretty much attack. just two shots to kill that ship, whatever it was. Situation log updated. Station under attack. Yep, they just wiped out all of the orbital infrastructure here. One of our hev most heavily defended Station systems, under attack. and they've walked over it for the loss of one or two ships. Admiral Page Kyle died when the UNS Bong was destroyed. So the entirety of the first fleet, 56 corvettes, 4 raiders and 27 destroyers was killed for the destruction of 12 transports. Okay, we've got 19 transports and one battlecruiser. They did 41,000 points of damage with tachyon lances and medium, medium plasma cannon and medium phase disruptors. We did almost 10,000 damage but it just wasn't enough. And in fact our accuracy and our evasion ratio was higher than theirs. Which makes sense because they had just battle cruisers. I mean, okay. So that's the first fleet gone. This new Coventry spaceport was destroyed for no losses on their part. The Eden spaceport was destroyed for no losses on their part. Uh, the Un Unified Cundon systems have recalled their embassy from us. Thanks, guys. We took out another five transports with the Albion spaceport before it got destroyed. Okay, we are already negative 16. Our entire fleet has been wiped out. I think this is probably the end for us. The Glearin Empire is retreating with what few ships they have left. They're wiping out the last of our stations. Station under attack. Yep. This game was going so well, and suddenly just Station declaration of war. Evading hostile fleet. I mean, we had no choice. We couldn't just give up complete. this whole region of space, but I wasn't expecting their attack to be so devastating. I knew they were going to be powerful, but I was expecting one or maybe two very powerful fleets that maybe we could gang up on with all of our allies. But they've just walked over everything. I mean, they've got... Their Construction ship under attack. Station under attack. They've destroyed pretty much everything in this region of space already. They're invading what systems they can. And they've already got more fleets pushing up into the Glearin Empire, just hammering them down. And we're still getting sabotage. That's fine. I mean, so far they haven't destroyed Station the Confederacy of Tak and Yar, but they're already moving in that direction, I think. Glearin Empire is trying to retreat. They're actually trying to merge up with this fleet here. That's what it looks Station like. The AI is actually attack. being quite clever. So there will actually be quite a bit of firepower there, but probably not enough. I mean, that's, only, that's less firepower combined in that system than we had when we were fighting down in Dastamon. Can I just surrender? Will they accept a white peace? Probably not. Evading hostile fleet. Station under attack. We've got ourselves destroyed, we've got our allies destroyed, and we've got our vassals destroyed. All at once. Unacceptable. There will be no peace. They will not accept a white peace. Well, I think that's probably the end of this playthrough, because we're just going to get completely attack. annihilated. 
by these guys. I can't really stop them. It's not even worth building any ships at the moment because they're just going to wreck anything we build. We cannot stop this fallen empire. Let's put this up to the fastest speed and we're just going to watch the complete destruction here. Oh, looks like we've got a big fight. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, so the remnants of our allies' fleets that have joined up here They've got a spaceport with them, and a, and a mining outpost, and this is the Glirin fleet and the Confederacy of Takanyar. They are going to get wrecked just as we did. Although this is one of their smaller fleets, only a few battle cruisers, mostly it's escorts. And they are all fleeing. They are not picking a standard fight. Station under attack. Oh, hopes being invaded. Uh, that was over very quickly. We Planet barely even damaged them. Invasion. Station under attack. Okay, can we just can we just ne negotiate an end to this war? I mean, what would, what would be the minimum they would accept if I was to give up? The colonies in Dastamon. And Neulen. Would they actually accept that? Could we actually stop this war? They won't accept that. They want they want everything. Well, let's try if we say everything but the humiliation. Would they accept that? Station under attack. Have I got any stations left at this point? What, what is left for them to destroy? No, they won't even accept that. So we'd have to give them everything to make this stop. And they would accept it. Yeah, that's the ticker. If we, if we accept that, could I get anything else back? No. They want the humiliation. We will be humiliated, reducing our influence gain and happiness for 20 years. That's the only way. Defeat against the Drell Perfend Forerunners. Just as you learned not to fly your ships too close to a brightly burning star, you have now learned not to disturb the Drell Perfend Forerunners. The worst possible outcome. Drell Perfend Forerunners assassinate the President. As if to punish us for not only warring with the stagnant ascendancy of the Drell Perfen Forerunners, but for then accepting defeat, Drell Perfen agents appeared by President Omani Otis' side after the peace negotiations concluded. They dispatched our president with unseen weaponry and practiced brutality before melting away as if they were never there. Holy shit, these guys are giant dicks. We are defeated, but we will rise again. Okay, so we've had to abandon four planets and accept humiliation. Research complete. There we go. That's our space reduced significantly. We lost some well-developed planets there. I mean, Jesus. We've still got our frontier outpost here, but I don't think that makes up for the for the for the four worlds we lost. That also completely dissolved two of our sectors, which makes sense. We actually gained a couple of ships there, because of uh, the ships previously owned by our sectors have now been granted back to us. We actually gained a couple of construction ships, which is good, because we lost a couple of construction ships in the war. Okay, this episode has run on very, very long. I'm going to take a break here. I don't know if I actually know if what I'm going to do next. I don't know if we're going to continue this or not. We have lost a lot. We've been greatly weakened, but... Are we truly defeated? I mean, we have a chance to rebuild. There's more worlds we can colonize. We just might be able to come back from this. Maybe, possibly, somehow. Assuming no one else jumps on us while we're so badly ruined. But okay, we'll have to see. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you later for the next one. Bye.